Hey guys, so Chad here from CNR Reviews. Um, you know what? I've fired about 150 rounds through the Keltec PF9, and I went out today and I thought, you know what? Um, I've only shot Seller and Bellet, 115 grain ammo, and what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna try some Magtech, 124 grain, and see if maybe uh, the lip is a little bit different on the round or something on the casing and maybe it'll jack those. Um, so let's try it out. We're gonna give it at least uh, another 50 and uh, this is the last chance for the Keltec PF9 as far as I'm concerned. So here we go. Now I'm only wearing a glove on one hand and that's because my hand is literally bruised from putting rounds um, around this from this freaking gun. The ergonomics suck. We'll go over that in the review. But we actually had a guy contact, uh, uh, send us a message going, I've put 2,700 rounds to this gun. Dude, you probably, you probably have a gigantic callus or something now, and I feel real bad for you. Because this is not a range gun. So, all right, here we go. Look at that. No failure to uh, eject. That's nice. Let's go ahead and let's load back up. <clears throat> and we're just trying to make it fair, guys. When I switch the gun over to Ryan, so that way uh, he can uh, test it, um, we're really just trying to get two different people shooting style. And uh, if it's as simple as just switching the ammo and only being able to shoot 124 grain, that's a, that's a pretty simple fix if you want to get the gun to shoot right, but let's go with some more. That casing bounced off my head. There we go, another flawless mag. It's Ryan shooting in the background. He's shooting his uh, sporterized Bosin 9130. We'll be doing a video on that here soon and a review uh, regarding the stock and the brass stacker and uh, the whole setup. So look forward to that. Go we'll load back up. Now every time I've uh, uh, I've gone back from the range with this gun after experiencing failures. I have uh, done a lot of research online just to see if anybody could give me an idea on what is actually happening and the different things that possibly the extractor was loose. And I met, uh, I uh, checked it; it's Loctited in, so I don't see how that could be an issue. Um, I know originally they had some that they did not Loctite in, and they did experience issues with them. All right, so next mag, here we go. Another flawless mag. I'm uh, getting happy. I really am. I was ready to just go off on the Keltec PF9, so let's see. Um, load it back up again. And I can already tell you guys, after putting the amount of rounds I've put through it, just those little amount at 150 rounds, I'll, I'll, I'll usually, when I come out with my Glock 26, put at least 100, 150 rounds through, and I'll leave with my hand feeling normal. I just put uh, only three mags through, and my hand is already hurting like a bitch. So, this will be my last mag, and then we'll have Ryan come over here and see if he experiences any issues. Here we go. Wow, 
about zero malfunctions. I am super stoked right now, actually. That's really good. But I'm also semi pissed too that this gun doesn't shoot uh, 124 grain. Um, this is actually an issue too. I'll show you guys. I replaced this base plate with the with the extended base plate on there, or the extended mag plate, and it keeps coming loose, even though it feels like it's locked in. Um, I've had that happen a couple times. I've had to check and push it. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the vid and uh, switch out with Ryan. And uh, we'll see we'll we'll see if this thing goes through 50 rounds without an issue. All right, guys, here's Ryan's turn. <laughs> hey, I've I've had zero malfunctions so far. Well, hopefully it does it for me too. <laughs> Your hand hurting? No, it hit me in the fucking ear. Oh. Huh. No malfunction? Not today. That's awesome! Maybe we found an ammo that actually works. And again, guys, MagTech! Yay! Now, one thing we've noticed with MagTech is that they're not the fastest round in the world. Um, you look on the back of the box, there's a whole bunch of different information. And uh, they're definitely not as fast as American Eagle or Federal. Um, so I wonder if those would even help it cycle even more because you're just going to have just a little bit more powder in there. Um, let's, we'll keep going. We got one more mag full, then we got one last round. You get the honors of the last round this time. I will tell you what, guys. <sighs> Let's see your finger. It's pinching the crap out of my finger right here, though. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not too sure about that either. I can kind of feel that on my finger too. But in a, dis, in a defensive situation, you're not really going to care about that. That is true. So. Well, I am. I am totally excited now that this gun is actually uh, functioning properly. Um, we'll still do a full review and I'm still disappointed in some things that it has. We'll talk about that. Um, but if, if this thing's only going to cycle 124 grain, Keltec really needs to tell us uh, that that's the case. Good? Alright, so last eight rounds, that's seven in the, in the mag and one in the... What did it do? Failure to load, huh? Yep. Uh, pull back on that slide and see if it'll load it up. Uh uh. Locked it back. It's totally locked back, guys. No freaking way. I think this gun is broken. Did it break it? Here, Ryan, let me see it. You take the camera. That is fucking crazy. Well, maybe my, uh... <laughs> and this, guys, we're literally shooting. We've shot Cellar and Bellet. We're shooting 9mm regular, standard, 124 grain ammo. That's what we're shooting. Yeah, this is nothing special, guys. This isn't plus P. This isn't, uh... You know, this isn't Dude, anything special. Chad cleaned this gun last night. The gun actually came off the rail. Yeah, it actually came up. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it is up off of it. It's up <laughs> off the rail. Look at this. Look at that side right Compare there. Compare it to this side. Look at that. It's not engaged or anything. What the hell happened there? 
Caltech, you fucking suck. <laughs>